Hey, what up, YouTube? G4G here, banging out another video. Man, look, hey, got a good one for y'all, man. I've been waiting to do this one because I like this fragrance a lot. You already know what to do, man. Stay tuned. man welcome to the channel oh yeah, over here on this side of youtube we talk about ffl football fragrance lifestyle so if that's something that you're interested in make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you can be updated anytime we drop this content with all that being said though let's get into this review so today we're gonna be going over our moth El Cilio, our Mop El Cilio. They do say that this is supposed to be an Invictus Aqua 2016-2018 clone, but I'm gonna let y'all know right now if it is or not. Let's get into it. Presentation. Presentation. Man, you got a nice little bottle, man. Not too bad. Good looking bottle. Got the blue over here, teal on this side. You got Armop El Cilio Pour Home up front. This is an Eau de Parfum Concentration, and this is 100 ml. I think these only come in 100 ml, so don't try to get this in 050. I'm sorry, you ain't gonna be able to get it. And then at the bottom, you got your batch code, all the information, Armop logo. And then on the back, you just have the Armop stamp on the back as well, nothing much. Cap is plastic. This is a very cheap cap, so it does click into place, but I still don't know about just holding it like this. So just make sure you grab it from the base. That way you don't drop it and it break. You don't want none of them problems like that. Atomizer as well. This one. Now this atomizer on this one is low. It get moving around a little bit. Y'all can see that right there. See how loose it is? So haven't had any problems with the sprays, but it does spray a little cheap. I will say that. Now some of the notes that you're gonna get up this is up top. You're gonna get some bergamot, melon, apple, and lemon. Ooh, get that real good spray in real quick. <sighs> Lord have mercy, what is it right here? Woo! Then in the mid, you got lavender, violet, and cypress. And then in the base, you got vanilla, musk, amber, as well as some cedar. The first thing you gotta smell, is that up top you're gonna get those high citrus notes now i will say this i don't smell too much of the apple i really just smell all citrus from the melon to the bergamot to the lemon that's the three things that i'm getting up top not too much of that out. but you do get some of that lavender up top as well that lavender is very strong in this throughout the opening and throughout the mid working its way down to the dry down lavender plays a good note with this fragrance it gels together very nice let's go over this pass method real quick peep performance now with the performance on this one i'm getting about a good seven to eight hours closer towards that eight hours with this one and i'm getting about a good two hours of good sillage and then after that it becomes more so not like a scent bubble but the seat but the sillage just doesn't project out as heavy as it did within those first two hours. I'm still getting decent projection. Can't complain about it at all. It's a good performing fragrance. I like it for a B.O.B. or cheapy fragrance. I like the way this performs. This is one of the better performing cheapy fragrances that you can get. Let's talk accessibility now. Accessibility on this one is scarce. It's still online only. You're only gonna be able to find this at your online retailers, German shop, um, discounters, websites, fragrancebuy.ca, things like that, fragrance X can't find this online and you're going to be looking at a price range from anywhere from 28 to 35 dollars scent profile now like i said in the beginning it does have the hot citrus opening so this does this is considered a citrus aromatic fragrance what you notice is it has a hot citrus opening but then as it dries down and works its way to the dry down it becomes more of a woody amber fragrance with slight keys of that citrus from the opening more so from that bergamot and the lemon citrus that's more so of what you're going to get in the open for the most part throughout this whole fragrance the notes that i smell the most is the citrus bergamot lemon lavender as well as the vanilla in the dry down situations situation i wear this fragrance in spring summertime especially in that high heat now this is a fragrance that is Great if you're going somewhere like a pool, pool party. I'm telling you right now, when you get when you get into the pool with this, especially around all that high heat, you can spray this bitch up because you won't be outside. So spray it up, do your thing, tick 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 tick, do your thing on it. Because when you get in there, man, this is a great, great fragrance in those high heat situations. Now the good thing about this is this fragrance is not just limited to the daytime or the nighttime. This can be a universal all around fragrance, whether day or night. You can use this for date night situations. You can also use this for situations like outside activities with the friends, casual stuff. Like let's say going to Top Golf 
those type of ventures. You might go go kart ride. You know what I'm saying? You might go to a cigar lounge and it's outside outdoors during the evening time. Good fragrance to have, especially again. We want to stick to those seasons though. Spring, summertime, depending on where you stay. As long as you got high heat in the fall, you can get away with this in the fall as well. But primarily, keep this to those situations where you know you're gonna be in some high heat. Cause right, man, look the way the the way the heat bounces off this thing and just enhancifies and amplifies the fragrance itself. I'm telling you right now, I've got many a compliments when I wear this right here. Key takeaways from this one, it does have a similar citrus opening that the old Invictus Aqua does, did have with the vanilla that it has in it. It doesn't have the same dry down phase that Invictus Aqua does have. So it's not gonna be the same fully. Now this is still a clone. I do still consider this a clone, but it's not just a full body clone, but this is very close. There are, very, there are few fragrances that get close to what the 2016 and 18 Invictus Aqua was able to replicate. And this is one that to me gets very, very close, especially in that opening. This is a great fragrance for the heat. This is a great fragrance for those summertime spring situations. And this is a fragrance that I can see people from youth, young, early teenage, all the way up to high 30s, maybe even your 40s, depending on how you feel and how you carry yourself. This is a fragrance that can be worn by majority of men that's out there. Easy to go, easy to wear, compliment machine, like cheapy fragrance, B.O.B. special. You really can't ask for more when you're looking at an Armand fragrance. And this right here is beautiful, man. This is pleasant. I even wear this to the gym sometimes, depending on how I'm feeling. I do a few sprays just to go to the gym. Not too many, because I'm going to the gym. I might do two. It's still a good fragrance for what it does. And for the price that you pay, I promise you, you won't be upset. This bottle right here, now for some, this might be backup bottle worthy. Me, I'm still debating on if it is backup bottle worthy. I would probably say no just because if it's taking me that long, then it's probably not backup bottle worthy. But I've worn it, but I still haven't knocked off a healthy dinner from it yet. So I'm going to give it a few more wears and let y'all know then if I do think that this is backup bottle worthy. But if you're looking for something that's like an Invictus Aqua, there's not too many that beats El Cilio from our mouth. That's going to be the review. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me know what y'all think. If y'all have this one in your collection, let me know what y'all think and how close it resembles Invictus Aqua. Is it pretty damn close as a clone? Or is it somewhat off the beaten path and it just has cues and resemblances, but not a full bone cone? Clone. Because I would like to know what y'all think. Make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. We're going to get up out of here, man. Me and my son, we got to get ready for work tomorrow. I got to go to bed. He got things he got to do tomorrow. We about to get up out of here, man. I hope y'all have a great day. All that being said, D4G, truly blessed. Destined for greatness.